Transmitting and receiving full and correct information ensures that both the sender and receiver share the sum understanding, and it's key to safety in the maritime industry. Doing this effectively helps with maintaining a high level of situational awareness, understanding what actions are being taken by your team members, and affect lots of other human activities. Communication failures have contributed to many maritime accidents, but also frequently lead to breakdowns in operational procedures and efficiency. For communication to truly be effective, everyone involved must share the same understanding of the message and know that everyone else shares the same understanding. Use closed loop communication where the message sender and the message receiver repeat the message to each other to confirm the understanding. Confirming what you think you have heard from the other person allows both the receiver to demonstrate understanding of what was discussed, but also the sender to observe the effects of what he or she attempted to communicate. Active listening is a key element of effective communication. This means that both persons will need to ensure that any distractions are eliminated and they are both engaged in the conversation. It also means that no one should fall into the potential bias trap. When you communicate, always be mindful of the fact that words make up only 30% of the communication. Tone, body language, gestures make up the rest. And from a cultural perspective, body language and gestures can have different meaning to different nationalities and cultures. Establishing routine communication protocols prior to critical operations and communication debriefs where everyone can freely voice their thoughts, including any concerns, is key to operating both safely and efficiently. I hope you found this episode useful. Thank you for watching and please stay safe.